Okay, what we're going to do here today is show you how to submit uh, a processing program to Blackboard. And we're going to start with uh, how Black or uh, processing rather saves your programs. So instead of uh, being a single document like Word or Excel, when you save something in a single document, when you save a processing program, you actually create a folder that has several things in it. So I have a quick sketch here, a program that just creates a circle on a black screen. Wait for a minute for that to pop up. And there it is, okay? Clearly worth the wait. In any case, this is my program. And I haven't saved it yet, and I can tell because this is just sort of a generic name that's created when I uh, start a new program. So if I save it, I'll go to the File menu and choose Save. Now I'll get a typical File Save dialog box that pops up. And I'm going to save mine on my desktop. I could save it wherever I wanted to. So if you want to create a subfolder, just for your programs in IST145, you could do that. And I'm going to call this one Red Circle. Okay, so now my program has been saved. And you notice that what's created is this folder. So if I double click on that, I'll see that there's actually two things in that folder right now. And as our programs get more complicated, there will actually be more. There'll be a data subfolder perhaps with some graphics or fonts or sounds in it. In any case, um, it creates a folder and not just a single document. So to submit something, what you have to do is compress it into a single file called a zip archive. Okay, And to do that, you select your folder. You're going to right click on it. By the way, this is obviously a Mac. I'll show you the PC version in a minute. On a Mac, after the right click on the folder, you're going to say compress and that will create this red circle dot zip okay? and that's what we're going to attach ultimately to Blackboard. Now let's take a look at what happens with a PC. Okay, on the PC side here I have the same program and if I run it I will get a similar result which is nice. We can run it both on Macs or PCs without changing the program. It's one of the benefits of processing and it's already been saved to my desktop. I can see that right here. I've got this red circle folder. Now what we're going to do on Windows to zip a file, right click on the folder just like we did on the Mac side, but now I'm going to say send to compressed zipped folder. Click that and it creates the zip file and it gives you the option to rename it if you want. I'll just hit enter and now that is my compressed folder that I'm going to send. Now one of the things that Windows does by default is it hides the file extensions. So this is actually redcircle.zip. It just doesn't show me that. And we may want to make that happen. Okay, so you can do that on Windows. If we go to uh, Windows Explorer. Yeah, let's say go to Desktop. And what I would need to do is I need to get the classic menu back up up here. So if I press the Alt key think yes then my uh, menus come back up and then if I go to tools folder options view and then what we're gonna do down here is uncheck hide extension for known file types apply that click OK and now when I go back to my desktop view I see red circle dot zip okay I prefer it that way because I'd like to see the whole file name. I don't want Windows to, quote, help me. But in any case, that's what we're looking for. That's what we'll attach. So after I've created the zip file, the next thing to do is to post it or submit it via Blackboard. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so now I'm back on my Macintosh side. I've got the Blackboard site open. I'm at our course and I'm focused on the syllabus. Okay, So for this particular assignment, our first closed lab, we'll go to the closed lab area, click that, you'll see the chapter 2 closed lab, that's the assignment that you're completing for this closed lab, click on that, and you'll see that it's got uh, the information about the assignment, how many points are possible, um, when we do our regular labs you'll see that there's a rubric associated with it, 
and so those are worth 18 points. This one's only worth six, but in any case, this is where we're going to submit our assignment. If we wanted to write some text about it, we could, um, but what we're really looking for is to attach a file. So I'm going to browse my computer, and then I'll get a dialog box that'll pop up, and then I'm going to browse to where uh, my file is, the zip file that I created. And in this case, I created it on my desktop. I'll select redcircle.zip, click open, and now that's been attached. And then if I wanted to make any comments about the file, like if you had a problem with it or you think it works or whatever, have a nice day, whatever you want to write there you can, or you can leave it blank, it's optional. But finally, when I'm done, ready to submit, I'll click the submit button, and that one, in your case, would be saved, okay? It won't be for me because I'm not a student, but in your case, it would be submitted, okay? And that's how you're going to submit your assignments. So that's what you should do for the closed lab, uh, exercise 57 from page 85. Try to get that done before Monday. All right? Very good. See you then.